It was in 1964 and I was just about to start Teachers College and we wore full army uniform, the bonnet, serge uniform and high stiletto heels and we walked for hours and in those days we still had pounds, shillings and pence and very few people gave notes so the bag got very heavy. We'd never heard of it, the red shield appeal, a door knock but never mind, we embraced it and it's been very successful. First Red Shield Appeal, I remember our uh, leader came up to us and asked, would you like to be a team leader to do the Red Shield Appeal? And I said, oh, yeah, what does it involve? He says, well, it's collecting. I said, yeah, I'll do that. But I didn't realise it was going to be for the next 60 years. And one of the jobs we had to do, of course, was uh, seed the area, which we used to call it. And it, it, what happened was we got envelopes that we had to put in the letter boxes before the Sunday we were collecting. One year I had a toddler in a stroller and I was about to have my second child and I went off to go and seed the whole area with the stroller, walking many kilometres, seeding the area. Then I went back home and it was wonderful. The next day I had my second child two weeks early. I was a hairdresser and I had a hairdressing salon. The person that answered the door was one of my clients. I guess I could say I'd never really shared my face with her before, and so I got the opportunity to say why I was there, who I stood for, but more than all of that, I shared my, my story of my Christianity with her, and I've never forgotten her, and she's never forgotten me. We used to have a lot of aged people. The husbands have been off to war. The husbands used to say to them, whatever you do, you must give something to the Salvation Army. And these poor little old ladies were so tearful. They would give as much as they could to us. They were so appreciative. I felt I was doing the right thing for the Lord by collecting and um, enjoyed that very much. And I could see the benefit because for years I was a receptionist at our welfare centre, which is now called Doorways, and you would see exactly where the money was going from. My mum was also very passionate about helping the Salvation Army. And I think it might have been the second year that we went out. It rained and we went home very early. And then the sun came out and she said, right, we're going back. And so she made us all get dressed again and go out. So I've never forgotten that. And I thought, I guess that's where my passion comes from. One area that I was collecting in, there was uh, a lot of dogs. So I used to take a water pistol and when the dogs come to me, I would get my water pistol out and squirt the dogs to keep them away. A man came to the door completely naked and I just said, would you like to get to the door? And I can sort of made a hasty retreat. So this year I'll be going to a shopping centre somewhere and actually collecting there. And people are very generous, for which I'm very grateful. Well, I help drive the bus when we've taken the school children around to help collect. I love to go and do Men on Marketplace with my son. We're both very competitive and we just try to see who can do the best. So I enjoy that day with him. But I also do have um, an online digital page which will get set up again this year and I did quite well with that last year. I was quite excited with the way people responded to that 